Okay, we're going to do a quick video on the Berghaus SX XLTC Air Polycotton. What else was it called? Was it called anything else? No. Nope. It's a new type of fabric, isn't it? No, this tent, uh, I think, was it 2019? Or well, when it came out? I, th I think. It looks and it feels like Gore-Tex. So it's a mixture between cotton and like your old traditional and canvas. The Oh, and, and your nylon. Okay, so Dan's never put this up before. We've not. He's not even got out of the bag, have you? No, not yet. It weighs hundred kilos. No, is it fifty? The no. bag's fifty kilos. Oh, 50 kilos. So the bag and everything in it weighs fifty kilos. Comes with the pump and everything. So we're gonna get it out of the bag and we're gonna have a look at it. <laughs> it's a fair beast, isn't it? I'm looking forward to this going, I want to see what it looks like. Well, the bag, bag itself is actually on wheels at the back. Yeah. To sort of drag it around a bit, but it's, it's even though that it's got like your carry strap here at the front to drag it around, it, it's still a bit of a beast. Yeah. All right, so I've got no idea how to start with this at all. Shall I give you a hand? So. Oh, well. I think, it, yeah, if we handball it out. Yeah, okay, well done then. Nice design, that feature, isn't it, for the bag yeah. for oh, it? That's waterproof, isn't it? Yeah. Then you've got a repair kit and your instructions. And that's the valve removed. Oh, I see, yeah, because it's air, isn't it? So, mm. so your pump must be in here somewhere. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll, dra we'll drag it across. That's being on film. <laughs> so, you'd be rubbish on that Duran Duran video, wouldn't you? <laughs> Girls on film. Right. Roll it out. Can we drag it back this way a bit and see what happens. That's your pump. This is the dual action pump, so yeah. it pumps up and down each time you go for it, apparently. Ooh, bag, huh? well, the sixth berth, is it? They, they say it is. Let's be honest with you. It's massive. <laughs> it's <laughs> In one of the reviews I read, it said it's the mansion of tents. But we'll wait to see how big it is. How big. <laughs> I suppose the beauty is as well, no poles. Well, that's it, no poles. There's not much in the way of instructions with this, but I think it's pretty straightforward. So these are your valves, so you push, turn till they come out. Okay. Yep. And then you push them in and turn them again and it locks in that position. So push. There we go. So you find each one of them by the look of it and uh, start pumping. Pump it up, pump it up. What we've got in here then? Oh, it's the pressure pressure gauge. Oh, well, so on here you've got inflate and deflate, so make sure you've got on the inflate one. Dan's fitted this on the. Ho it? Hopefully, we've got it on, on the inflate, inflate side. <laughs> That's it. Pop it in one of the uh, valves and see what happens. Yeah, with a little bit of a twist. Yeah. I think we might have to keep an eye on it. There we go. So you were saying you read something about five psi per tube. That's what that's what I've, I've read. Right. Okay. Oops. Yeah. this back in just to make sure that's one at five and that's that's pretty tight isn't it eh? that is my gum yeah that's good isn't it and it was only after a few of those
Okay, valve number two. That went up quicker than I thought that. Yeah, you last one would. I forgot I didn't do that one, Dan, where you just twist it. It's off. And it, no, that comes out. Uh -huh. you, have to, you have to twist them and it pops pops up. Oh, I didn't twist that one back. No, in. I did. Oh, at least someone's paying attention. It's all right. No, no, no. Yeah. Right. So five to seven PSI, yeah? Five to seven. Okay, so five tubes. Yeah, five. Yep. Yeah. They're not full fully blown up, so we it says pin each corner out. <laughs> Pretty good. It's very nice, isn't it? So we just what we got is what we got Dan two lines and and two pen two pins at the back that's it isn't it so far yeah there's only only a few few pegs holding it in I think that you need to remember to put a couple of the pegs in at the back first yeah and then stretch it out and then start inflating it yeah should we have a look inside go for it <laughs> it's huge it's huge Trace. You got rich. What have you got then? They they come out. So you got so you can actually have this all as one, one bedroom or, you can or separate yeah. them for the family. So you got three then, haven't you? Yeah, you got three. three. Yeah, use one. Then one as a little private toilet or something like that. I don't yeah. know. Two, three, and it's all uh, blackout material as well. So you know, you should get a nice night's sleep. But they're sturdy. These These are things, aren't they? amazing. Yeah. It looks like you can replace the tubes as well by the look of it. Yeah, I believe you can. We've got the uh, the actual footprint that's designed for this coming to go underneath. All oh, right. And also the Berghaus carpet. Um, we've looked online. Other other people are saying, well, you can just you know any carpets, but the Berghaus one takes into account the bottoms of the air tubes. Right. So it, it sits snugly around them. You know, if that matters to you, then it's going to be a snugger fit. And that's, we're going for that. So. Well, thanks for the video, mate. Really enjoyed it. I'm going to a quick look on the outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah good. good. Fun, no, that's it? right. <laughs> Tracy keeps running away. <laughs> but it's nice it's, well, it's got the two sides and the main entrance at the front yeah when we've not you've not even fully stretched it yet and you'll probably get to that yeah yeah definitely so you're leaving it up because it's got to be weathered yeah that's the idea that's the idea um we're, we're sort of having a bit of a trouble finding whether or not it's got to be weathered like a canvas tent because obviously because of the, the cotton aspect of it um, but you know we, we've got time yeah so we're obviously practicing putting it up and then we'll give it a bit of the British weather <laughs> and pack, pack it down again that should be too hard next trip yeah that's a sixth berth yeah brilliant all right I'm going to come back and we'll take a photograph when it's all Fully up and pegged Absolutely down. Brilliant. Cheers, Thanks, Dan. Cheers, mate. Take care. Okay. <laughs> so, Dan's just invited me back round because it's all been jigged up and whatnot. He said you had a twist in one of the tubes? Yeah, slight twist in one of the tubes. Um, easily fixed. Deflate the tube. Refill it slightly. And 
it sorted itself out. So oh, that's it, right. fairly simple fix. But only only issue with putting it up was that. Um, we'd like to get a little bit more tension on it, but as you can see, the garden isn't big enough. <laughs> it looks bit, good though. But um, it, it's a fantastic bit of kit. It is, it's look at that. Everything we need and more. She, she says you've got your ground sheet for it now, or your what is it, your footprint? Yeah, we, we actually bought, at the moment it's sitting on just a um, normal tarpaulin because we were itching to sort of put it up and see what it looks like and make sure there was no defects with it before we pack it up and use it properly. Nice. Um, but yeah, we've actually bought the Berghaus footprint for it as well. And a rug as well, I believe, yeah. yeah. And the Berghaus carpet that goes with it because the Berghaus rug that goes with it has got the little cutouts yeah um that allow for the tubes so i mean you could use any carpet but we we bought the one that's going to fit well, around the tube you're spending that much money on this you might as well look yeah. after it in yeah it. exactly so you can see that you can't stretch it to the point because you've got nowhere to put the pins well, sort of run out of um garden. grass <laughs> garden. brilliant i can't remember what she said was it six thousand hydrostatic head or something isn't it is it six thousand waterproof? It was it was a lot. It was a lot, wasn't it? It was a lot. There you go. Um, we can't. It's not fully stretched out yet, but this will look absolutely amazing, won't it, Dan? Eh? I think so. I, so another quick. Oh, you got your side canopy up. Oh, I got any other way. The porch. So side yeah. porch out. Dan, so that's another tube with another. Just pumped it up, nice, and that's it. Yeah. Another quick look inside. Of course. And we're done. We've had a look at, oh yeah, well that's better now, it's a bit more daylight isn't it, look at that. That's huge. And obviously it's got the three compartments. Yeah, which we looked at didn't we, it's all now, it's all taut up, it's quite good. Yeah, and obviously the compartment walls internally, you can remove to make yeah. jig about larger or smaller. Yeah. Tracy, what was the hydrostatic, what was it, hydro? 6,000. 6, that's a lot, you know. I think it lends itself more to... from the waterproof yeah. side of it. And reading about this one, even though it's polycotton, it won't ever need treating like a traditional canvas tent will. Funny, isn't it? So, it's... And potentially, I mean, you can hear that. It's, it sounds like you're, it is like cotton. Yeah. So it might not be as noisy if we get caught in rain, which is yeah. quite possible. Are you sleeping here tonight? No, not tonight. <laughs> not tonight. But, um, I think we might have a go at decking it all out about in to see how we would lay it out. With your kitchen and everything. With the bits and pieces yeah. just so that we can get a feel for how we want it set up. You've got windows and everything haven't you? Brilliant. Loads. He says. Look, yeah, no, it's fine. He says. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. That's, That's fine. That opens up. That opens up. And these are just half open at the moment. Yeah. But there's pockets everywhere. Storage. Brilliant. Okay. Right. Can't wait. Now you're looking for you looking to try it out. Mm. There you go. This is the Burghouse. We did put it down, didn't we? Yeah, got it. I'll put it on the front anyway. All right. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks, Dan. No worries. Enjoy. Yeah. Take care. See you in the next vid.